Alright, what's up everybody? What's up everybody? It's your boy here to give you guys a review for Basketball Wives LA. Alright, I'm gonna try to get through this as quickly as I can because a whole lot of technical shit going on over here that y'all don't know about. So, <clears throat> Ellen is back. She says she's in LA because her daughter stays in LA. She's also there to do the real. She meets up with Shani. <clears throat> they talk about everything. She says she had three miscarriages and she feels that, you know, between her and her husband, they you know what well, she feels she's supposed to have a third and the whole thing between her and Tammy it all stems from her I guess knowing her ex-husband but she said that she never slept around with a married man this that, and the third so that is where their issues come from but last time I checked they didn't have an issue so and even in the previews they're going to get good so it seems like this was this is just something for us to be like oh my gosh you're going to watch the show now you got Jackie with her daughter Chantel she's pregnant she lives in Sacramento, trying to find a place in L.A. for both of them. And then she brings up her uh, daughter, uh, Kari, and <clears throat> brings up the uh, drama that happened with her daughter. Uh, Send up a GoFundMe because her uh, because Kari's son have got injured at a daycare. And rather than reach out to Jackie, she went up and set up a GoFundMe. But it, everything came out as to why that didn't happen but of course Jackie isn't going to tell that story I wish that Shani would have brought Kyrie on here so now Jackie is going to use the fact that Evelyn donated the full amount to have beef with Evelyn because apparently she put herself in family business and said even though I don't see where Evelyn said that she was being a bad fucking parent but it is what it is so that's how this shit started off alright so <clears throat> Tammy and Shawnee meet up. Tammy says that she is uh, still with Red the F Hold on, y'all. Now, y'all know I get sidetracked. Daytime Divas. Got my beat. Vanessa Williams in it. Okay. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> so, Tammy says that she's still with Reggie. Like I said, they're still trying to figure out the whole baby thing. One week, he wants that baby. The next week, uh, he doesn't. <clears throat> but, of course, her um, getting close to 50 the different complications and the miscarriages before, but if she, if we learned anything from Janet Jackson, once, once you get impregnated, lay your ass down. Stop trying to fight bitches. Stop smoking. But, um, Tammy says that she's still mad at Evelyn. Now, this is all because of an interview that she did. Now, we find out a little bit later from her talking with, um, Jackie that the interview was four years old. Somebody, uh, sent that to Tammy. <clears throat> so a case of you know people that follow you being messy and I've already said on this platform a motherfucker start sending me shit about some shit that somebody said about me chances are I'm finna fucking block you because you put it's more often than not it you probably not send it to me because you want me to know you send it to me because <clears throat> you want some shit to ensue you feel what I'm saying because if it was meant for me to see it I would have seen it and I don't go looking for shit it's, it's that whole thing so she's mad about that and apparently Evelyn said that they would never be friends yeah yeah blah blah she tried to call her <clears throat> phone number changed tried to hit her up on social media she's been blocked on all social media so this so hey it is what it is now we and also brings up the 70s birthday party that all of them are invited to now Jack Hill thinks well that changes everything because I didn't know she was back in town and then she brings back up <clears throat> the incident involving her daughter uh takari and you know pretty much she's going to get answers because she needs to know <clears throat> if it came from a genuine place or was she just trying to be messy or whatever the case may be so we'll see what it is <laughs> all right so <clears throat> uh shawnee met with this uh girl named uh kiana that's nick young's baby mama they talk about the whole thing with Nick Young and Iggy. I'm not going to talk about it because if she's not on the show, why the fuck do I care? If she happens to be on here, well, she ain't getting no shine. Into it. <clears throat> so, now it's uh, Shondi's party. Uh, Evelyn walks in. Everybody's there. Minus Evelyn. Evelyn walks in. She goes to uh, kiss, you know, kind of do the whole thing with Tammy. And she's like, no kiss. Oh, so we're being shady. <laughs> And Tammy whole thing is, and I mean here's the thing, regardless of how long ago the beef was, you feel what I'm saying? Cause people could be mad about how long a motherfucker harbor shit. I harbor shit. You feel what I'm saying? <clears throat> like if I can do a quick tangent shit, I'm throwing a housewarming this upcoming Saturday. I'll probably have footage from it. 
but it's somebody that's working on me right now that was with me in Korea. I invited this person to my fucking party, uh, to my Hanukkah party. It's my best fucking wishes. Mistake that I'm never gonna make again. I wanna go with my fucking gut feeling, but I was trying to be nice. She turned my fucking party out to the point where I can't tear everybody the fuck out. I'll probably do that in the fucking story time or some shit. But <clears throat> she ain't invited to this. Now, mind you, she and I, we have to work, coexist. <laughs> We're actually about to go to the field with each other. We just came back from one like two weeks ago, about to go to another one like two weeks for a whole fucking month. But it is what it is. <clears throat> but it's one of those where I know how to fucking take you and we not finna get past that. And it wasn't just that, it's layers of shit. So I ain't even mad at Tammy for it. it I, I'm really not. Plus y'all know I like Tammy, so it is what the fuck it is. Now, <clears throat> Jackie pulls her off to the side because she wants to address the situation. Now, <clears throat> she's she's pretty much saying that if Takari had an issue, she could have called me. <laughs> Evelyn asked, well, why didn't she call you? I did about fell and forgot because I would ask that too. For those of y'all who don't know, I'll try to give y'all the expedited story. Takari is black. <clears throat> okay, She is a dark-skinned chocolate woman just like Jackie and that is from a previous um I, I, maybe marriage but previous relationship uh her daughter Chantel is Doug's daughter who is lighter so is that colorism so she pushes her daughter Takari off and if you guys go back and watch I believe it was either season one or season two Chantel went to Laura and pretty much spill the beans on how fucked up her mother is in the head in reference to her daughter. So she has nothing to do with her daughter Takari, even when she got remarried last season. Where was her, where was her daughter? Nowhere to be seen, but you saw that her two children, her light-skinned children from Doug were there. <clears throat> but long story short, she was just like, I decided to donate to a good cause to help your grandson. And then, you know, she's like, well, you know, you could donate to anybody else. And Evelyn's like, I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do. Long story short, this shit got squashed because it did not come from a malicious place. So I'm hoping Jackie finds another storyline to go with. Now, it's her and Tammy. We'll get to that momentarily. Now, let me be clear. I am not here for the rehashing of shit. This is reminding me a lot of the Kenya and Phaedra situation of something that was let go so long ago is being brought back up. But again, I can understand an interview going, some shit happening, and y'all not being able to rectify the situation. Though I will say, I'm going to call bullshit on Tammy because you have Shawnee's number. You know Shawnee has that number. I'm just saying. Not saying, just saying. But, <clears throat> Tammy brings up the incident and Evelyn is asking when did you file because she's saying that she filed 98 and Tammy is just like the fact that you had to ask that means that you're trying to sit here and clear up your own shit but she said that she filed 99 but here's the thing <clears throat> and Tammy did say regardless of when I filed we were still married <clears throat> and if you guys remember what happened with Fantasia with her messing around with a married man they were separated pending a divorce but the thing is they were still married and that's one thing that everybody needs to be careful of is when you're dealing with somebody that's separated just don't deal with them until the ink dries <clears throat> and they are officially separated because depending on where that perk where they live you could be sued for trying to break up a home regardless and all that um tammy wanted was just for her i guess if I'm recalling correctly, to just be warm enough to say, you know what, <clears throat> my bad for doing woo wop de woo blah 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 blah, didn't mean it that way. Even if you go all the way back, it never came off. And I know initially Tammy was mad because it's like, okay, so you've been smiling. <clears throat> mm -mm, no, you didn't. <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm so I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna watch, but. The fact that she didn't bring it up initially and waited. So again, we're sitting here rehashing old shit to try to get this shit to pick up. <clears throat> if I'm going to continue to review it, they really need to pick this up. And while I have the time to say whatever reviews that I am picking up now, I will not have any reviews done in May. And when I get back, 
I will not go back and redo anything. I will just pick up from wherever the fuck the shit's at. I'll go back and rewatch the shit, but I'm gonna pick up from right then. Just wanna put that out there. All right, so the episode ends with Tammy playing the interview. The interview is not as bad as, as we all think. All that she said is, we don't talk, we don't text, we don't do nothing. <clears throat> You know, and she, for what it's worth, I guess she was being honest. Yeah, she could have just been like, you know, we're fine. And left it at that. And I mean, even with some things, you know, depending. Because here's the thing, we don't even know the aftermath of that. So the aftermath of people commenting could have been bad. Is Tammy putting 2010? Yes. Do I feel this particular storyline is cooked up by Shawnee O'Neal to get us to watch? Of course I do. Of course I fucking do. But I'm somewhat committed here I am. So that is all that I have again. Sometime this week, I'll give you guys a detailed video on where the fuck I've been. All that good jazz. I will give you guys a tour of the apartment. And like I said, it's nothing too crazy, but it's nice. It's quaint. So this space right here uh, is my studio, obviously. It's my studio slash entertainment room, but you, you'll see all of that later. So. I think the next video, more than likely, is going to be Little Women Atlanta. Ooh, excuse me. Burp. All right, but that's it. I got to go. I got to pack up my shit. Well, for tomorrow, get ready, shower, all the other stuff, because I got to be up early tomorrow for business. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys for the next video. Peace.